Okay, today we're going to be testing, uh, picking on these uh, containers of lip balm, pulling them out of the box such that they can be placed on some sort of conveyor. And to do so, we're going to be using a KVG60 unit. It's got two SI32 three-stage cartridges inside. It's about 230 millimeters long. Uh, it's got the FR5.5 millimeter uh, flow restrictors. And uh, one major thing to note here is the step pattern on the foam is the super fine step pattern. The holes are small in diameter. They're very close to one another and you can see on the top and bottom edge of the foam they're very very close to the edge and on the left and right edges uh, they start you know very close to the edge of the foam and they kind of taper in. <laughs> this will be useful uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, main reason being that the major concern with this application is the edges. The containers on the edges of the array here uh, you can see there's some gaps um, and whatnot. Um, also, in this front left corner, there's kind of a, a lip or a, a little lip on the inside of the box. Uh, this might be troublesome when trying to take place the Kinos unit straight down from the top. It might catch on this edge here. Um, uh, it may would suggest you know maybe a, a box that doesn't have this lip on the inside. <coughs> So we will try picking various edges. We'll you know shake up the array, kind of randomize it, and then we'll push all the containers to one side of the box, if you will, such that there is a large gap on the opposite side, and uh, you know try making the pick there as well. We we'll also use the same tool to pick up the slip sheet that is in between layers. There are five layers within this box. Um, I'm confident that the slip sheet will be absolutely no problem for this setup. Um, and ultimately, rather than using the, obviously the KVG60 unit, um, I recommend using a custom KVGL unit. Um, the inner dimensions of the box, uh, the KVG unit will fit just inside. It will have the super fine step pattern. But one thing to note with that super fine step pattern on the KVGL is that there may be a wave pattern almost on the edges of the foam rather than kind of this taper here just for some uh, mounting screws for internal components here. Um, but we're going to turn on the air and we're going to try making some picks on the edges and see how it goes. And then we'll try picking up the slip sheet as well. But as you can see, I'm easily able to make that pick. The flow restrictors in here will allow you to pick up either an entire foam pad's worth of containers or just one single container. As you can see, Alright, now we're going to try picking on this edge where the containers are mostly pressed against the edge of the box. And we should have no problem doing this either. Yeah, no problem. As you can see, this container here, it's only it only covers maybe one or two, probably two holes on the, the foam itself, and it's still able to make that pick and hold it in here. That is, uh, that's due to the flow restrictors inside the unit. So now we're going to try pulling all of the containers towards one side. You can see there's some pretty big gaps here, and see what we can pick. We'll try picking from this corner first, and then we'll try picking it from this front corner, just because the unit's not long enough to, you know, fit the entire, the entire inner uh, length of this edge here. Drop one, uh, that corner, there's only maybe one or two holes covered. Um, this won't be an issue with that, um, the entire, the KVG out that will be able to pick up the entire layer. And 
now as quickly we'll try picking on the slip sheet, which will not be an issue. Again, these random drops you know, on the corners won't be happening because of a much wider, longer unit. It'll cover the entire array.